Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Hands of stones coming down to the ring. Seeing much personality out of this ring walk. The Blade's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. of stone good step back counter punch there beautiful a well-placed left hand up top a little head hunting with the right forceful jab by hands of stone Solid left hand to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. A nice jab by hands of stone. Hands of stones. Defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. A well-timed right hand by Hands of Stone. The Blades' defense is paying off now. Hands of Stone's left landing well. The Blades well off the mark that time. And he ties up on the inside. <laughs> Hands of stone is able to avoid that punch. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Good shot to the head with that right hand. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Can you believe that? If there were 30 more seconds in that round, 
I don't know that he survives, but now he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about okay. what happened and it's find okay. a way to have confidence. To find move. something it's to hold right. on to going out for the next round. He's going to come in swinging. Oh, he thinks you're still hurt, and he's going to look to finish you off. You don't need that. No, throw that away. The blade's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on it. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Yeah, you got him. Let's go. He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more, and he's on the canvas. Teddy, what does he need to think about now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he'd love to run away. <laughs> he'd love to get away from what's hurting him. His legs are not solid enough, so he's going to have to find a way to tie up. That was a fine block by Hands of Stone. The Blades able to land a nice, clean left hand. Hands of Stone's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The Blade's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Halfway through round number two. The blade scoring with that right hand. Hands of stones left, working well that time. Let's see some more head movement. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Hands of Stone. he can do when he sends that right to the head and right from the start he's throwing the power punches and landing them i think he has a date he wants to get to it a shooting right hand by hands of stone <laughs> needs to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot <laughs> Final 10 seconds of round number two. Relájate, relájate. Relax, relax. You're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up, keep them up. He caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. This is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep it up. Keep those hands moving, all right? Keep the hands moving. And round number three is underway. The Blade's got all eyes on him right now. Everybody wants to see how he'll react after being stunned in that last round. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. One, two. One, two. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Able to get 
rid of that one. He's, he's tied. And Smart. now he's nice acting work. like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Right to the body. Goes up top with the right hand. Hands of Stone's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Not able to land the headshot. Hands of Stone is able to land a good, solid left hand. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Coach Tomato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a you jab fest of this all night long. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have oh, very punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. Nice work to the head. The right hand landed. The blades proving to be elusive. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. And that does it for this round. That's it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, it. all right? Doing good. You want this fight? Listen to me. You want this fight? You go. You gotta stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches out there. Keep your hands. All right. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he jump went to medical him. school nice. because he's been a surgeon tonight. That's a forceful jab by hands of stone. Yeah. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Hands of Stone's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learns how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Up top with the right hand. Well, he's trying to keep up. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He didn't see that hook, and now he's seeing stars. And the subtle thing here is it wasn't just brute force. He didn't see it because it was timed beautifully. One, two, three, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. <laughs> Didn't get it done going to the body there. Good step back counter punch there. Halfway through this round. Very accurate with the overhand right. <laughs> Hands of Stones giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. That's it, just like that. Yeah. 
Good jab by hands of Stone. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Snapping jabs by hands of stone. And he engages in the clinch. Double up on your punches. Good block. Able to show you his blocking ability. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Hands of Stones left now getting into the mix. Watch that! So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and Keep gather himself a bit. Keep him away. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. The Blades corner now with a big task at hand. They've got to make sure that their fighter has his senses back after being knocked down. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Finish him off! And yet another big shot comes in. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits. Fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now. He needs them right now. Head and body, head and body. Hands of stones making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. The Blade's finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. There you go. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Looking good. <laughs> Little head knocking with that right hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. You got this one! Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. Nice work. He can time nice him, work. he can counter him.
And the round comes to an end. In between rounds here, the blade's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. Okay. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. 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 Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. by hands of stone hands of stones making this like artwork here i mean his defense is just a master big big shot comes crashing home that was a big shot that florida and it's a big shot that may end him right here that looked like the great pitcher great maddox his sinker ball boy it went down quick Gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Just missed that shot up top. Ah, cover up. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's right. Burn up. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to. What a big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Boom. He scores the knockout here tonight. That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.